And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Grixis Nights. Sorry, we've tried a bunch of different night flavors so far. Um, you know, we've played like Boros and we just played Abzan, Orzov, tried a, a bunch of other ones, but uh, tried Mono Black a few days ago. What we're going to be doing here is playing Grixis with this. We're getting a, more aggressive. So this is kind of like the Mono Black version that we played, but we're adding in Red for Aggression with Fervent Champion, Rimrock Knight, Stormfist Crusader, and then also Blue for the Royal Scions. All right, so the Royal it may not look like, you know, it's like, why do we have the Royal Scions on here? Like, that's kind of a weird card to splash for. But what, what the goal of our deck is, you know, is of course being aggressive. We're trying to be really fast here, really low to the ground, and also hit with Death Touch and Trample. That's uh, Death Touch and Trample can get a lot of damage in there. Um, our, as far as getting Trample in there, you know, if we're getting our attackers in here, of course, Royal Scions gives First Strike and Trample, but then also we have three Ember Cleave, our other finisher here, giving our creature plus one plus one Death, uh, sorry, Double Strike and Trample. So these two can, can get a lot of damage in with some earlier creatures. And um, with our Death Touch creatures, we got three Foulmire Knight and four, of course, Knight of the Ebon Legion. Knight of the Ebon Legion is kind of like the, the best way to get that uh, done with, you know, if you activate Knight, even if you have no counters on it, activate its four power, you know, tick it up with Royal Scions. It, it now has First Strike, Trample, and of course it has Death Touch. So it only with Death Touch and Trample, if you don't know that interaction, with Death Touch, you only need to assign one point of damage to anything that blocks, and then with Trample, everything else can trample over. So yeah, putting an Ember Cleave on a Knight of the Ebon Legion can do a whole lot of damage and everything there. Hey, Dubs. Um, so that's kind of like what our deck's about. You know, Blacklands Paragon is, a, is another way to give your creature Death Touch. Um, again, like maybe if you already have like Ember Cleave... Uh, equipped or maybe you already have royal silence on in play that like ticks up on something that's another way to give death touch um other ways to pump our creatures fervent champions extra ability you can give other attacking knights plus one plus zero uh you got rimrock knight that gives target creature plus two plus zero so that, those are some other ways to um pump up the powers there so basically what we're trying to do here is against like the field of the dead decks we're trying to go under them you know with being really aggressive here and even if they make a few 2-2s two to block with some zombies, hopefully we get like our Death Touch Trample, just make our creatures bigger, finish them off there in the late game. We also have some Reach with Smitten Swordmaster, you know, the curry favor, <clears throat> especially for how many 1 and 2 mana knights that we have in this deck. Uh, hopefully curry favor can do quite a bit of damage here also with the Reach there. And then we got a little bit of removal with Murderous Knight um, hanging out there. Um... So that's what our that's what our deck's about. Our sideboard, <clears throat> Legion's End and Noxious Grasp are just two awesome spells depending on the matchup for uh, interaction. Disdainful Stroke seems to be like the thing that counters all the top end stuff these days. It kind of feels better than Negate, you know, if you want to counter a sweeper because um, because there's also just a lot of creatures that people are playing at the top ends, you know, like Golos and stuff like that. That if you want to counter um, having Disdainful Stroke. Uh, kind of counters everything you, need, you want. And same kind of thing, Drill Bit. Uh, because people are playing the Giant Sweeper and Golos um, and Agent of Treachery and, you know, just like all sorts of like top end creatures, Hydroid Crasis. And you really want to get Hydroid Crasis. Our deck should be pretty, you know, like we're pretty low to the ground here. We got a, a one mana haste creature. So we should be able to trigger Drill Bit fairly easily with the spectacle there. And then Frenzy is just a really good. Um, card to, to grind. Our mana is kind of tough. We got a couple Fable Passage in here. Help get like you know help get this island and everything if we need it. Our mana is a little rough because but we're we're being low to the ground. Um, got twenty three lands in here. Hopefully it works out. Um, yeah, you can you can disdainful stroke fires of invention or yes if they have a fires of invention in play and play. Uh, a, f a four mana card you can disdainful stroke it because it still has the cmc um they just cast it for zero mana but it still has the cmc so all right so we're gonna play this in the metagame challenge see how it goes hmm. that's some high hopes for this deck 
This is a deck a, a friend of mine from uh, back home sent me. And I was like, hey, I've been playing this. Give this a try. And I was like, yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Let's try that. Hmm. Or any land. So why not go Mardu for knights instead? White doesn't really add very much, honestly. Gives you a little bit better mana base because of the tournament grounds. But Royal Scions is awesome, especially that second plus one ability. So Paragon, Rimrock, Embercleave is 17, 18 damage combo. Uh, so yeah, Paragon, you know, is three. And then if you rim rock it, it gets plus two, so that's five. Ember Cleave is a sixth. And then double strike. Hmm. It's unfortunate that my opponent has like these one ones. It's kind of annoying to see. Hopefully we draw land. Yeah. This is why we play Royal Scions. Our bond was forged in battle <laughs> and mixed. Strike fear into the hearts of the wicked. I think kind of hard to block. There's a 5 1 with first strike and trample. Stay away from my brother. For the realm. Mm. I only have one black source. So I guess I'm not doing this smitten sword master thing at all. That's five. Use it. Six, seven. And dead. Do you think what my opponent thought, hey, I'm gonna play <clears throat> I'm gonna make two one ones on turn two and then play a five five on turn three and then play questing beast on turn four and then I'm dead. Do you think my opponent thought that that was <laughs> That was what's, what was going to happen. <laughs> they probably did not expect that. Yeah, Blacklands Paragon is... Yeah, that could be one of the most underrated cards in Throne of Eldraine. I could see that. That card is very good. <laughs> Couldn't handle the curry. Okay, uh, as far as sideboarding goes, I don't know. The only card that I... I don't know. I guess, like, maybe Legion's End. Like, the extra 1-1s one in there. Maybe we don't need 3 Midnight Reaper for this matchup. I mean, Noxious Grasp, of course, like, they have, like, Questing Beast and, and Lovestruck Beast. But that's, like, kind of it there. But, like, you know, maybe, maybe that's better than Legion's End. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe I just don't play Midnight Reaper and just play Noxious Grasp instead. We'll go one Legion's End, two Grasp. What do I really want a Legion's End? Just... Yeah, I definitely want all the Umber Cleave. I 
I'm just going to play three Grasp. Yeah, like they could have like the 2-2 the two, two Black Flyer that can't block, but I think I can outrace that thing. Yeah, they definitely play Innkeeper, but Noxious Grasp also kills Innkeeper, but you know, Legion's End would be able to get rid of a lot of Innkeepers. Mm. They're down to six. Don't love the hand, but I'm going to keep it. Thanks for the donation deck there. That's how I play it, but edit it to your liking. All right. And then, let me write this down. And then QQ, what? Um, I don't know. One, what happened to my pen? I don't see a pen anywhere. Uh, I can, I got a pen up here. Um, what day and what time slot would you like me to play the deck? Also, third slot any day. Okay. Okay. Got you down there. So they're just down to two cards. Perma Champion's a nice draw. Makes both of these two power. So they can't kill them. That's annoying. The whole sacrifice a creature bit. That's really annoying. Want to be able to keep one Blacklands Paragon in hand to be able to discard to Rankle if if they decide to go discard route with Rankle. Yeah, that's how that's how donation decks work. I'll play whatever yeah, any any whatever your deck list is, I'll play it through a league. I I can also build decks. A lot of times people will donate like the next deck that we're gonna play, Esper Law, that's a donation deck where somebody just wanted to see a deck with rule of law in it. So I can also build decks as well.
So basically, the, the real problem is if my opponent has... My opponent has removal. They have instant speed removal. This is kind of bad. Gain two life, go to seven here. So I, I could have just played the Paragon to just gain another three life there, but then if they had Questing Beast, I was in a lot of trouble. I think I'm going to play the Fable Passage to shuffle. Because we have the... The reason why I want to shuffle is we have the... We have our Swift End down at the bottom of the library. Let me let me respond to this. I can't why can't I respond to, to that ability? Okay, there we go. Do you have haste? Let me synthesize Darn. One turn away. If we had one more life. This thing can't block. If we had one more life, the, the Knight of the Ebon Legion would be easy. Easy lethal. Yeah, because Rankle, de Rankle deals four damage. Yep. We need one more life. I mean, I, I would have had to play the, the Rimrock Knight to make sure we don't sacrifice a creature as well. Thanks, Glad. That's what I'm... That's what I hopefully can help with. Alright, do I, do I have any good removal for Rankle besides these Murderous Riders? I think that may be it. No choices. Darn. Hey, thanks, Soul Farmer. All right, so yeah, Rankle's a little tough. I could, I mean, we could play Disdainful Stroke, but for Questing Beast and Rankle, that's kind of weird. I think I do kind of want Legion's End, though. <clears throat> I guess those those one mana 1-1 one, one Death Touchers 
are really annoying. So you have that and Innkeeper. Let's take out a Noctis Grasp and take out a Rimrock Knight, a Smitten Swordmaster. Okay. I I don't know if the deck needs any modifying for best of one, honestly. I would I would just kind of try this out first and, and see how it goes. Um, it's possible the deck doesn't really need any modifying for best of one. Ah, thank you. Jazz! Okay, yeah. Send me a link to the deck list. And let me know what time slot... What day and what time slot you'd like me to play your deck? If if you don't know how to link a deck list, I'll help you out. MTG Goldfish is really good. Use them. But yeah, if you have it like on Arena, you can copy paste it to, to Goldfish there. They always have a lot of Love Struck Beasts. Love the block. Get rid of a 1 1 just for one life. <laughs> I'll let them gain a life to kill a 1 1. Oh, should we regroup? Oh, definitely. Hmm. Nobody yet knows. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for the tier one sub here, second month. Everybody get those hype boats in the chat. All right, that's our, that's our fourth sub of the day. They're going to make me sacrifice a creature anyway. Might as well block with the Swordmaster, gain two life. Yep, Kenda sure is. I got your deck third right now. I can definitely get another one in fourth for you. If you want that slot as well. <laughs> Thanks, Unrelenting. These Paragons have just been awesome. Is crystallizing. I'm 
going to hold up Murderous Rider in case of another beast. And <clears throat> keeping the land in hand. Eh, can't keep them. Can't stop them from drawing that card. Keeping the land in hand is good with Royal Scions as well. Candice, build around Molu. Okay. All right. We are. We will build around Mowu. All right. So if I, so I ultimate, I draw. Maybe I shouldn't have Murderous Rider there. We draw four. We do seven damage. Put them down to three. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Oh my gosh. Into position. Then charge and strike. This is kind of ridiculous. I mean, we still have lethal, but like it's it's kind of ridiculous. All right, let me write down that donation deck here from Kendis. So we're gonna build around Mowu. Cool. All right, so we got Mesmerizing Benthid for the third slot, Mowu for the fourth slot. Build around some new decks there. All right, and, and Jazz, how are you doing with, with your deck there? Yeah, Royal Scions was just awesome for us though. Definitely a big part of, of both of those wins. Real Scions. Pretty great. Velnor with the support. Thank you so much there, Velnor. I really appreciate that. Let me try to update this. There we go, sub number five. Hmm. Okay, Jazz. Jeskai Aurelia fires, okay. Um. Let's play this thing. <clears throat> MC stands for Metagame Challenge. You know the the title of the the stream here, Metagame Challenge. We're doing we're playing a couple of those today. Okay, you up, uploaded on on Goldfish. Good, good. No, you're you're just fine, Jazz. Don't don't worry. No no rush. Now yeah, after you do that, send me the link of the deck um, after you upload it. For example, this was Bertilux. Um, so you know, like, send me a link like that. You know, like that was Bertilux's deck, for example. Have I tried splashing Royal Scions and Boros? That sounds kind of impossible to do. That'd be four color playing a, a. Oh wait, never mind. That's not four color. That's just just guy. So that could be a splash. So, never mind. Check that. Not not impossible to do. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see, that's gonna be four color. I was thinking like Orzov and then Royal Scions.
high on foods. Tier 1 sub. Thank you so much there, foods. And welcome to the channel as well. Perfect, Jazz. Thank you so much for that support there, Foods, and everybody else. Um, I kind of want to activate Knight. They bounce it with the Borrower. Well, I guess I don't. All right, so Jazz, did you have did you have a day that you want me to play it? Yeah, you know, it won't be today, of course. That looks pretty sweet. Aurelia fires. Any day next week? Second or third slot? Okay. All right, run it down. What do I got? A whole bunch of nothing still? So I want to have Ryder to kill Wolf. But that's kind of the problem is they could just go Borrower instead. I have not played any Golos Fires decks before. Nope, I haven't. That's not really. I don't know. You know, like that deck's certainly like the the top deck. I don't usually like playing that kind of deck. Let's see. I'm gonna keep getting this knight larger. I'm taking that that turn off, and I should have played the Midnight Reaper that other turn. Okay, okay, that's not bad.
my plan here is kind of to play to do this, then uh, then cast the Rimrock Knight, then Curry. But do they just have yet another bounce spell? Okay. Yeah, you can Jazz, you can keep updating the deck list if you want. I'll I'll grab it a little bit later. So if you like whenever I'm like the day whenever we're ready to play it. So if you want if you want you can keep on updating it if you change stuff. Yeah, so I just I have that link saved. So if you just edit that link, you know, you can keep editing it. And you're good to go. It stays the same link, so. You can change it to be however you want me to play it too. If there's if you're like, "Oh, I don't have, you know, X card, but I'd like to see it in the deck." You know, you can put it in there. You're talking about me. I, the reason why I shocked and everything there, I needed to activate Swordmaster to make it so my opponent took four damage to put a counter on the knight. Or so I needed to do the curry favor thing. So that's why. That's why I did curry favor and then played Swordmaster with shocking because we needed to. I needed them to take another point of damage. So I'm taking seven. I just gotta hope they don't have another bounce spell. Their deck doesn't play a whole lot of bounce spells. If they don't if they don't have bounce, they're they're just dead next turn. There's no blocking they can do to stay alive. It's it's they have blocker. They have if they have bounce, they win. If they don't have bounce, I win. That's the game here. So, I win. Knight of the Ebon Legion with Ember Cleave is ridiculous. Oh, you're talking about how the opponent countered the, the back half of the Rim Rock and they could have just countered the first part. There's, there's no blocking they can do here. How much damage would they actually take? So what, this is 10? So they take they take 20 damage. Like, this is this is 20 damage minus 1 for each blocker. So if they block 1, it's 19. If they block there, it's 18. If they block there, it's 17. It's so much damage. Uh, so much damage. Okay, sounds good, Jess. Sounds good. Yeah, so... Will happen is I'll I'll play through the deck. Uh, you yeah, know we'll play through the league and and then we'll kind of talk about anything to change and all that kind of stuff. But cool. <laughs> yeah, ten eleven death touch double strike trample. Yes, please. All right, so I want disdainful strokes because. You know, like their two best cards are both four drops. Then a whole bunch of drill bits.
I think we're going to take out the Rim Rockers. Take out the Reapers. Now, next question is, do I play Grasp or End? Nah. <laughs> so much damage. First Strike, Trample, Death Touch. Uh. AKA your dead opponent. AKA your dead. Mulligan. Our man's a little rough at times. Hmm, our mana sure is a little rough at times. Maybe we'll draw Blood Crypt. That'd be good. Blood Crypt. Swamp. Alright, I'll take it. I'll play the Fable Passage here so that we can have three mana for next turn. Yeah, it's, it's possible my opponent does not know the Flash keyword. It's not likely, though. I think they do. Maybe it's boring just to play things in speed all the time. Sometimes you just want to play stuff sorcery speed. Switch it up. Yeah, Fona wants to give non-Simic Flash a chance. Simic non-Flash. I joined the metagame challenge, right? I think I did. All right, so we'll have the Paragon be able to trade with the Preserver.
Hmm. I gotta get my cards in play. I will steady your mind, Rowan, and I will embrace your fear and charge. So Smitten Swordmaster being in play with Royal Scions. You know, this thing has lifelink, so we can pump this up so it could be four power lifelink to negate their four power of attack. Well, that's obviously... problem uh, brazen borrower is pretty good maybe I should have just taken brazen borrower instead of ambusher with my sister by my side I do not fear the unknown for the realm I don't know, maybe they attacked Royal Scions instead, or didn't attack or something. Borrower is rough. All right, game number three. Double shock land can be pretty rough, of course. But I think I just go champion into Crusader. Obviously, double shock land with then us losing a life every turn. It's a little rough. Huh. Just did not play Spectral Sailor. Just like, nah, we'll play that later. Don't need to play that earlier. All right, so I'm going to try playing Foulmire Knight and then the curry favor here. I 
So it's looking good for us right now. With my opponent not playing that Spectral Sailor. Yeah, red, yep. Red is a definitely an aggro color. <clears throat> My opponent wants to sit back and counter stuff, but we got four power in play. Bounce Crusader, we can just replay it. They bounce Crusader, my plan is just to replay it and play the the Swordmaster. Well, Crusader has Menace, so we don't have to worry about that. Fervent Champion has First Strike. We don't really have to worry about that either. They can play this other creature, make their Cutthroat a 3-2. But then I can give the First Strike creature Death Touch. spot. Menace means it can only be blocked by two creatures, or two or more. It's like one creature cannot block a creature with menace. It's too menacing to be blocked by one creature. Nobody talks Steady your mind, Rowan. And I will inspire your heart. There is no virtue without bravery. They're dead. They have to throw every single thing in front of the Swordmaster if they want to stay alive, and that's just not a realistic block that they're going to make. I mean, they... It's already killed... They already just set themselves up to die anyway with First Strike Trample. They're already dead. I don't, I don't even need to death touch it. You know, it's sometimes you could death touch it so it only does like one damage over whatever you need to. We'll just death touch this thing. Kill the cutthroat. So the paragon we actually didn't even need to. Like they their block just they were dead with the block. Alright, we are two and oh. We got another pack. Sundays are awesome. With the weekly wins resetting. Get us all these packs. We've opened up three mythics with packs. That's we were uh, our first three packs, we were three for three with mythics. All right, we're 2-0. You don't, you don't always play people your same record. That could have been their first match, even though we were 1-0. Try to pair you against the same record, but it also pairs quickly. Hey, sub -even. Yeah, I, I think our opponent was a newer player. And so, um, 
I hope they're learning and everything and getting better. Probably should have just mulligan my hand, honestly. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't have a good explanation of why this is a keep. I was kind of just talking about how our opponent was probably a newer player and then kind of looked at this hand better and was like, I don't know why this is a keep. So. Nope, I kind of have nothing there. I held on to the knight this night, hopefully, hopefully, like, you know, if we, like, hit a land, maybe that'd help us out. Oh my gosh. We have, what, exactly three swamps in the deck? Yeah, we have exactly three swamps, and we have one island. Every single other land's a red source. <laughs> There's only two lands we could have drawn that was not a red source. In the entire deck. Okay, yeah, so yeah, I present mono black, I lose game one, make my opponent do the wrong sideboarding. Yep, that's that's that was my plan here. Yeah, this is a Firemind's research. It was like the special art alt art that they had for it. <clears throat> And bad keep by me, and this is looks to be a a game that if I would have just kept like any kind of keepable hand, like that we probably kill our opponent. But I didn't do that. So I, I threw away this game that was certainly winnable. I'm gonna feel bad about this if we lose this match. They have a bunch of good like anti aggro stuff. And we end up losing the match or, you know, like have to, you know, we will get down to oblivion or something. I guess there's watery graves that are non red lands also. Can't really attack through that right now because they can just make this a 5 5. My plan was to loot, loot away some of these fervent champions.
Um, the Gruul deck did pretty well for us. It's not one of the best decks in the format. Um, but it, it has some, you know, has some power there. But if you're asking, like, is it one of the best things you're going to win a whole lot with it? Like, maybe not. Darn it! Ugh. Should have blocked with the Stormfist Crusader. Not the champion. Ugh, I need that red mana. Ugh. Thought about that, but I was like, well, maybe I should probably give myself another chance to draw red mana. Yeah, I'm one damage off. I'm one damage off so many different ways, either with Embercleave or without Embercleave. All right, well, if I would have kept a reasonable hand, would have been able to have that one, but I didn't. So I got punished. I want to play Drill Bits. Um... I feel like this is a good matchup for Midnight Reaper by Smitten Swordmaster is like my least favorite card here. But I also want to cut a three. I'll just play one Smitten Swordmaster over a Midnight Reaper. Yeah, I I definitely think the Royal Scions are worth it. Bro Silence is the reason why we won game one, or our, our first match. Both both the games in our first match. Yeah, the the plus two first strike trample, like giving first strike trample. It's huge. And then, yeah, sometimes, you know, magic doesn't always go perfectly. Sometimes you have, like, way too many lands and you need more threats and you can do the looting. And and Royal Silence is an easy card to ultimate. Hey, what's up, Storm? Yeah, white is the weakest color in standard, for sure. By a long ways. There's like good like there's good white gold cards, like white X, you know, like something else. There's not really any White has the weakest amount of of like just good cards on its own. So I'm playing the Midnight Reaper here in case they had Flame Sweep, if that was their plan. So they're at 14. 
Basically, should I play Fervent Champion or not? Do I play around Flame Sweep? Eh. Nah. I'll play around Flame Sweep by not casting these Boulder Knights. Well, even if they sweep. <clears throat> Take a land out of the deck. We'll thin it up and get a blue source. See if they sweep, we got double three ones. Yeah, Flicker, go ahead. Yeah, I was like, I was like, that's just lethal, right? Yeah, because they can't block Crusader, and so then they take four. I thought it was. All right, game number three. Maybe I should be playing Frenzy in this matchup. Like Frenzy instead of Reaper? Let's do that. They're just gonna Lava Coil Midnight Reaper. Well, hopefully we get this. And I don't get too punished for just throwing away game one. Game one is like the, the easiest game for us. We never know what my hand would have looked like, though, with mulliganing. Like, maybe we would have just mulliganed into oblivion like this anyway. You never know. <laughs> yeah, that's what... That's what everybody, whenever this song comes on, everybody is like, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Hey, Steven, thank you so much. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, I don't know, doing good. You know, like, life's good. Um, you know, rotation's happening. We have more people here in chat, more people watching the YouTube videos. I've been e eating well, exercising, all that kind of stuff. Like, I have been happier recently. Life's good. <clears throat> Let's get the Royal Skyons in play. Serrano! Thanks, Serrano. I lead the way, but my brother knows our power. Strike fear into the hearts of the wicked. Whoa. I haven't really figured out this thing right now. This thing is keeps messing up really bad. I, I don't I don't know why. I'm not trying to make it bigger. Now it's just what is I don't know what's going on with it. This thing is just going crazy. <laughs> just just please just work. Alright, that's good enough. I'll just move it up, move it over, try not to touch it. Okay. Anyway.
overcome any challenge. In case they do have a flame sweep, we still got a crusader in the chamber. Hey, Elder 2. Things are going great. Recommend top three decks. I don't know. Um, the thing is, like, kind of changes for everybody. I mean, obviously, like, the Bant Golos decks are, like, number one. But besides that, like, what the other ones are, I don't know. It could be a lot of different things. I, I really like the uh, the team or walkers deck we played yesterday, but there's a link to like the MTG Goldfish metagame if you want to check that out for some more ideas. Um, so I, can only, I can do four. Definitely thought about looting here, but I guess I'll just... I'll take out to like force them to block. You know, like just force them to chump block. They go down to two. We definitely have cards that we could loot away. Um. Sure. I want to get rid of the the watery grave. I like having that land. So even if they have flame sweep, we'll still be able to loot. It's like it's like the card that they need to have. Like we're forcing them to have flame sweep, basically. That's not good enough. Alright, so I didn't mulligan the first time, but we mulliganed game three. We went down to five cards. Five card hand still got us there. Our deck's looking pretty nice. Three wins. So far. Okay, just crafted this deck for best of one. Let me know how it goes. Best of one probably helps with the mana base and everything. Also. I guess it has to be tournament grounds. I mean, it could be swamp. I guess tournament grounds is just better than swamp. I need, I need the blue mana to be able to cast. I guess Swamp's better if we have Swift End, but oh well. Blue mana to be able to cast Royal Scions if we draw that. Um, I need the actual red mana if we want to cast Rimrock Knight, the, the other part, the Boulder Rush. I guess Swamp would be able to cast Swift End. And now I cannot... Tummer. <laughs> I 
All right, get these creatures out there. We get to Ember Cleave next turn. Okay. And see, so you, you smashed Golos twice and Mono Red once already with this deck and best of one. Nice. Well, it looks like we're going to be losing this one. I wish I had Swamp <laughs> instead of this tournament grounds. Yeah, I mean, I mulliganed. I could have kept Swamp or Tournament Grounds. I could have kept one of them, and it looks like, I guess, Swamp would have been better. I don't know. Yeah, some real good. <clears throat> real good draws. If my opponent draws like that again, it's gonna be tough to beat. I don't know, like so yeah, I guess like Legion's and Noxious Grasp. Let's do that. Let's take out Reaper and Rimrock Knight and play those. All right, game number two. This could be tough. The opponent played is playing Teamer Elementals. We've had a bad case of the Mulligans here recently. It's nothing competitive. My opponent mulled to four as well. They were nice enough to, to go to go with me. Each time I mulligan, they decide to mulligan as well. They were they were nice. They were like, oh, you're mulliganing? I'll do that too. That must be the cool thing to be doing these days. Oh, mulliganing again? Sure, let's keep shuffling. So it's four cards versus four cards. I honestly am not sure if playing Double Storm Fist, like if Double Storm Fist Crusader helps them or me more at this point. Why would they shock? Ether Grasp? Is that the name of that card? Not Grasp. Ether something? They don't have a pump spell, do they? Oh, they can't even block this thing anyway. It's menacing. Yeah. 
yeah, you can do that as beta. Yeah, if you if you lower your mana cost quite a bit after sideboarding, um, getting rid of a land is is certain is definitely reasonable there. So they must have just drawn this land during my upkeep whenever my Stormfist Crusader trigger happened. Cleave. <clears throat> we just won on a Moldafor. Uh, my opponent also Moldafor, but don't you don't need to have you don't need to know that information. Just know that our deck is so good we won on a Moldafor. <laughs> Any other information not necessary. Yeah, yeah, our, I mean, we still play pretty good there on four cards. <laughs> yeah, the Stormfist did help us, um, especially, I mean, our opponent missed that third land drop even with Stormfist, so then it certainly helped us more. But yeah, we had like the cheaper cards Got to play more stuff. This could not work out. Hopefully it will, though. I don't like this healer of the glade card. I don't like it one bit. What I do like is Royal Scions. Can we draw Royal Scions? That's not bad. That's not bad. So my guess is that they have Veil of Summer. They could have Unsummon. Yeah, I guess Unsummon would be rough. 
they might, you know, I'm, I'm planning on attacking here and Ember cleaving, but I guess if they do have on summon, that's rough. Hmm. Yeah, we did see Unsummon from them last game. It's either, I mean, we saw Unsummon and Veil of Summer, so they got one of those two. If it's Veil, that's great for me. If it's Unsummon, it's great for them. That definitely represents Unsummon. Yay. Oh, right. I let first strike damage happen first. Right. 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 <clears throat> I tried giving them, like, more chance, you know, like, one last chance to cast the Unsummon, and they didn't. Right. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I, I so yeah, I can equip a champion now. My only play really is to play this thing. Yeah, I, I should have just gone for it with the Ember Cleave and not the, the first strike damage. I messed that up. If I would have played that correctly, it looks like we would have been just fine. Oh wait, did I have 13? Oh, I per I didn't count the extra one from the from the fervent champion. Did I have 13 here? Oh no, cuz I couldn't I couldn't ember cleave the the paragon and royal silence. I don't have the mana to do both of those. And who knows, maybe they I don't know, maybe they just drew into the unsummon or maybe they had unsummon already. Yeah, no, I, I uh let's see. Scions with equip on champion, that's I mean, that's only that's only 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's only 12, right? Like that's only 12. They were at 13. So I, I could have dealt 12 there, as far as I can tell. Because, like, Royal Silence would pump this thing to be 4 power. Double strike it, that's 8. The Fervent Champion gives another thing plus 1, so you could give this plus 1 to be another 4, so that's 12. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly, you know, obviously I really messed up the timing on the Ember Cleave there. But it's possible they had the Unsummon and would have blown us out. But it's, it's also, it kind of feels like they just drew the Unsummon off the Veil of Summer. That's what it kind of feels like. But of course, they could have cycled it and found Veil of Summer. Or, or sorry, they could have cycled it, found Unsummon. I think that's the most likely thing is if I don't mess, if I... Play the Ember Cleave correctly, and if my opponent only has, um, like, let's say I would have played it correctly with the double strike, 
and my opponent just had the Veil of Summer. They would have just cast the Veil of Summer, cycled it, and I guess they couldn't cycle if I just play that Ember Cleave, though. So basically, we would have had to got lucky if that Unsummon was like the very last card they drew. We would have let them draw one less card. Yeah, my opponent played very well. Rare wild card. Boo, we want mythics. Okay. And we got some other gems. Tough game, tough game there. Um, yeah, tough game. Doesn't look like I would have had a... Sh doesn't look like I would have had a shot, even if I would have played the Ember Cleave correctly. It all depends on if the if the Unsummon was their very last card they drew, or if they had it at all. If they had a Unsummon, I would have lost. But there we go. That's Grixis Knights. This deck has a lot of power. Royal Scions looked awesome with the Knights. Um, I would say that I was disappointed by Smitten Swordmaster. And Rim right, Rimrock Knight was kind of whatever. Kind of the same with Midnight Reaper. I'd say the the four worst cards were Smitten Swordmaster, Rimrock Rock Knight, the Reaper, and the Murderous Rider. Those are like the four cards I, I liked the least. The rest were very good. I guess Falmire Knight was kind of whatever. But Paragon, Ebon Legion, Champion, Crusader, Royal Scions, and Ember Cleave. Those six cards were awesome. Drill Bit was awesome in the sideboard. So yeah, we'll keep on working on it. See if there's anything better to do with like the the other slots there. Um, but yeah, a lot of power. Like Paragon was just super super impressive, and just a lot of power with with uh, Stormfrost Crusader. Honestly, looked really good. I um, really impressed with that card. Um, so there we go. All right, uh, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there, and also let me know what you think about the deck there in the uh, comments. If you're trying it out yourself, let me know how it's, how it's going um, and everything like that. So I have some more information. Let me know like what cards are doing really well, what cards uh, do you think I'm missing, all that kind of stuff. All right, uh, but that's, that's it. That's Grixis Knight. So thanks for watching the Metagame Challenge here, and I'll see you for the next video.